Hello, I am Qasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will see how to deploy an ASP.NET Web MVC web application to AWS that is Amazon Web Service using Visual Studio 2017. We have some prerequisite for this. Very first, we need to have an AWS subscription. Then, we need to have Visual Studio 2017 installed. And the third is most important is we need to have AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio installed. I will provide the link for this uh, in the video description. So let's get started. Have uh, already created a basic MVC web application uh, using Visual Studio 2017 and it's running absolutely fine as you can see over here with basics basic link home about contact and everything so let's deploy this to aws for this uh, open the solution explorer and right click on project and click on publish to aws elastic pen store uh, before this we'll do one thing just make a small change over here. Hey, I'm on AWS. Okay, so let's click on project file, right click, and publish to AWS Elastic Bench Store. Now, once you download that AWS toolkit for Visual Studio and install it in your machine and open the Visual Studio 2017 uh, it will ask you to follow a few instructions like creating the profile and all just follow the instructions and that's it it, uh, it will take hardly 5 to 10 minutes and then uh, you will be able to get this option published to AWS Elastic Bench Store so let's click on it okay so this is the profile which I was talking about like which I have created when I installed this uh, these all are now default values. I have just given uh, my access key so that I can use it from Visual Studio to get into the AWS console for having uh, the environment set up. So uh, let's create a new application. Okay, click on next. So it says application name. Let's provide some uh, name. My MVC on AWS. Let's check its availability. Yes, it's there. Great. Let's have this um, environment name. Same as this. Click on next. It's fine for this uh, video. We'll keep all the default values. See, here is a container type which it has set as it's an ASP.NET application. It has given an IIS. Uh, instance like t2 micro which is i believe the yes it's available in free tier i'm not sure this is all default values let it let me uh keep it as it is click on next mm, okay submission next s40 can see here two options let it be 4.0 deployed website next and finally deploy so now this activity uh, once you click on deploy it will open a, a window over here showing you all uh, the deployment status how it's all going on in a similar fashion uh, which usually the uh, deployment uh, process is followed. So this uh, overall activity, like see, we have got this window with all the event details, whatever is happening. So this is, will be the this will be our URL. My MVC on AWS. It's not working right now because it's getting deployed so it will take at least four to five minutes to get deployed yes you heard correctly it takes at least four to five minutes to get deployed 
so let's do one thing let's pause this video for the for that time and then we'll come up once it get deployed okay so now we are back so as you can see uh, the status for this deployment is showing as environment is healthy is successfully launched so, so you can see it almost took four minutes exact four minutes to get deployed um, you can see uh, its details like it started creating the environment then it provisioned the server and all security settings and then it added the instance and then finally it launched over here so let's go to that URL Let's refresh it. Let's click it from here. Showing us environment is healthy. No, it's not getting. hey sorry guys it was uh, some network issues from my end so as you can see it is now deployed hey i'm on aws the changes we made uh in the url is my mvc on aws and the status is environment is healthy let's just have a look uh, to, into the aws console Let's refresh it and uh, you can see okay so this is a elastic min stock aws console and this is our app which we created my mvc on our aws it's running absolutely fine so hope you have enjoyed uh, this video and learned something new uh, i would request you to please like and subscribe to my channel and share this video among your group. Thank you.